We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, as the others do. that's actually moving, the other ones are just reflecting.
right now. It's at about 12.30 and it's uh, passing out in front of the vehicle. For Tally Ho, can you get a uh, still imagery if you can and any estimate on size or range? Looks like you got an object right in front of you, Mark. Can you look out there? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Never mind. Are we missing something? I don't see anything. An object which is at the same place all the time, but appears to be tumbling. Well, we've had it ever since yesterday. It just seems to be tagging along with us. Control that power cell up here. There we go. Well, I see uh, we've had visitors again. Yeah. Currently worth mentioning. Agree.
life on other planets uh, oh yes there's not much question at all but there's life throughout the universe we're not alone in the universe at all you're convinced that we're not alone in the universe oh i'm no for sure we're not alone in the universe and uh, i happen to be privileged enough to have uh, be in on the fact that we have been visited on this planet and the ufo phenomenon is real although it's been covered up by our government for quite a long time it is a real phenomenon and uh, there's quite a few of us there's, it's been well covered up by all of our governments uh, for the last 60 years or so uh, but slowly it's leaked out and uh, some of us are privileged to have been briefed on some of it but i've also been in military circles and intelligence circles that knows beneath the surface of what has been uh, public knowledge that yes we have been distant but i've been deeply involved in certain committees and certain research programs with very credible scientists and very uh, intelligent people that uh, do know the real inside story and I'm, I am not uh, hesitant to talk about it. There's been quite a few, there's quite a bit of contact going on. We have been visited, the Roswell crash was real and a uh, number of other contacts have been real and ongoing. Uh, it's pretty well known for, for to the, that in the last 60 years or so that there has been some uh, back engineering and the creation of 
this type of exactly alien craft. Now, not all of them are. I suspect some of them are homegrown. I suspect that in the last 60 years or so, that there has been some uh, back engineering and the creation of this type of equipment, but it's not nearly as sophisticated as, as yet as uh, what the apparent visitors have. Control Houston with uh, Atlantis Commander Brent Jett talking with astronaut Terry Burtz here in Mission Control about an object the crew members noted outside the windows of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Uh... Okay, we're in the process of uh, taking pictures with the 400. We've got uh, several other pictures as well, but the best view we got was through the uh, binoculars, and uh, the best way I can describe it is. Uh, there's some kind of um, reflective uh, cloth or um, with uh, some it's a metallic looking type of cloth, uh, a structure that's uh, definitely not rigid or uh, it's not a, um, a you know solid metal structure.
tether has broken at the, uh, at the moon. The tether has broken and it's going away from us. Get it on the, get it on the TV cord. Listen, TV. The tether has broken. Can you describe what you're seeing? Well, the long line is, uh, is a tether, um, and uh, there's a little bit of debris that uh, kind of flies with us, and uh, it's uh, illuminated by the sun at such low angle. So this is a lot of stray light, and it's getting washed out uh, quickly, but uh, Claude is trying to do a, a quick, uh, good job here adjusting the cameras. Copy that. 